Here we go. This is new. This is super new. The younger twin brother, a gentle boy. So we're twins. We're twins in this game. Okay. Uh, they might do the thing where they pull like the fourth wall breaking at the end. So I don't want to name name it myself. What does don't care do? Lucas. The older twin brother, an energetic boy. Don't care. Klaus. The strong, kind, and dependable father. What is it? Flint. The beloved mother. Uh -huh. Hinawa. The brave and smart dog. Doggy. Doggy. Bonnie. Bonnie. What's your favorite homemade food? How about I actually choose what I like to eat with my mom? My mom wasn't the greatest cook, but what did she make that was good? Mm. I like turkey. I like chicken. So, turkey? Although, she couldn't always afford to, to make it on Christmas. Turkey. It's my favorite thing. Uh, what is my favorite thing? I... I don't know. What... what is my favorite thing? Uh... You. I love you, everyone. You're my favorite thing. Text speedo. Slow, medium, fast. I'll probably go fast because I'm sort of a quick reader. Window color, mint. Mint. I kind of like mint. Although it doesn't exactly remind me of mint. Strawberry. That's very strawberry. Banana. I kind of like that. It's very dull, very banana-ish. Peanut. I'd go for a deeper shade of brown for peanut. Grape. That's not quite grape that I imagine. I like banana. Let's do banana. Um, yeah. Whoa. What happened? Beyond the Sunshine Forest. Kind of reminds me of Mandy when they're like the Twilight Mountains and they have like Children of the Dawn and all those different phases. Good movie. Home of Alec, now his father. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Hmm. I remember the song from playing it before. It was like my favorite part. Lucas, how long are you gonna sleep? 
get up so we can play. Get up already. This game, like, I guess because it's for handheld, the space that they have to do text boxes is a bit more limited than the Super Nintendo. The Dragos brought their babies over. They're really cute. Aw. Hurry up. Let's hurry, guys. A real wood burning stove. Do I actually have to, like, no. I don't, I don't actually have to click through anything anymore. I can press LR to interact. That's cool. Can I run? No. Same bed ahead as always. That never changes, friend. I never had pajamas. Couldn't afford pajamas, dude. Just go to sleep. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Klaus has been up a while playing with Dragos. Well, why don't we go say hi to Klaus? Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change him clothes. No, screw you. Then you can stay inside your pajamas for the rest of your life. <gasps> Sorry. Oh wow, that's a nice detail. There's an actual fudge shake beer. That's pretty cool. I'm much manlier now. Such a compliment, Mom. says to me ne what the pig next to me says worries me what is it don't worry about it oh, so he's too nonchalant for pig acts no all cows no no matter what they're thinking go no it'd be handy to remember that I can't go through the trash like this I thought you could run in this game, but I guess not. A story is a, is a series of memories. Memories are remembered with other memories, and, and, turn, and in turn become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. That is what people refer to as saving. Now then, save your game? Sure, not the phone this time. It's a frog. Chapter 1, Mount Oriander, Alex House. Let's go. Careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Will do. <laughs> I think I explored everything up here. Chickens, house, what have you. So what's down? This direction. There are ants at your feet. You might accidentally step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. How thoughtful. I don't want to go killing some innocent ants. I guess sometimes you don't really know that you're stepping on others through whatever action you take. 
Wow, why did he kill the dragon? He hit it. I've been play fighting with Dragos all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Nah. Come on, just give it a try. The Dragos are waiting. Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. Try to imagine a thing called a B button. Yeah. Then let go. Hold it and then let go. Doing this will let you dash. By using this dash ability, you can ram into Drago there. Klaus, show him an example. Poor guy. Now give it your turn, Lucas. He's just like your personal punching bag. It's not fair. You'll never succeed with such a sullen looking face. That holds true for anything, just relax. The harder you run into them, the more the dragos like it. M move out of the way. Make way for your great mole cricket. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I can't just sit idly by when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor with all you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain. Damn, first battle. Mole cricket. I stepped on the mole cricket. I hope it's alright. Oh no. <laughs> Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your favorite boys turkey. Damn, dude. You too, Dad. What's your favorite food, Mom? Turkey? Then your favorite is the same as ours. We gotta make- we make a good match. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly, I bet you kid- I bet the kids could make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you could handle it, Lucas. <laughs> Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I'd forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. 
You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you could have you could have been here to take a to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I all we are always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite turkey right away. With love, your dearest, Hinawa. Don't touch me, motherfucker. Yikes. What's that? Somebody's just like going ham in the forest. They're blowing stuff up. This music's actually like, it's pretty jamming. Wow. <laughs> Those are like the stormtroopers. Is that some type of, yeah, it's a bomb. Everything's on fire. Chapter 1, Night of the Funeral. Flint, Flint, Flint! It's a fire! It's a fire! A fire. The Sunshine Force is on fire. In a huge, fiery, flamey fire. Flint, save us. Save us, man. Can I, yeah, I can dash, dash it out. Fireplace, fire and wood. Sounds about right. Oh boy, mirror. You're looking pretty handsome, but this is no time for that. This, that, same deal. I guess the blue pillows mean you can use it as a resting spot. Okay, so B is like, oh, I just bounce off the wall if I dash into the wall. How do I, okay, menu. Menu, items, ordinary hat, an ordinary hat. Uh, keys, nothing. Key items, no. Equip, weapon, body, head, other, just like earthbound. Level 7, HP, 105. He's offense heavy. Skills, brute force. Swing, strengthen, power smash, toughen. So this is like high mischance. Defense up, strength up, and then just re regular melee, I guess. Cool. So this guy's just melee. Gotta do something quick, Flint. This is actually, now that I think of it, it's starting out quite a lot. Whoa. Pro tip, don't try to cross your legs if you got a lot of wires in front of you. 
Yikes. What did I just do? Problems. Problems on stream. Alright. Hopefully I'm, I won't do that again. It's the forest. The forest is on fire. Knock, 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 knock. Jeez. Who would lock their door in a village as peaceful as ours? Flint. The doorknob. Oh man, it came off. How do I get back into my house? This is no time to be dozing off. There's a huge fire in the sunshine forest. Just let me go see it then. Shut up. Bad times like this call for reckless nice guys like you. Please come for it. Please. No. Then I'll just have to drag you there myself. This is like Paula when you tell her no. Jeez, Thomas. I'll follow behind you. What? What's so wrong with that? I happen to like falling behind people. Alright. Are you gonna come with us, doggy? He's hiding something inside his doghouse. Flint got the stick. <laughs> hey Flint. That stick should make a good weapon in case anything happens. Be sure to equip it first though. Just holding onto it, uh, it'll make as use- what? Just holding onto it, it'll make it as useful as a caramel. Right. Alright. Shoot. I gotta equip this way and then stick. Two offense. Better than nothing. The run mechanic is pretty cool. I feel like I'm moving faster than Earth, than an Earthbound. Not bread. Hey, Flint. The whole sky north of here is pitch black with smoke. It does not sound good. In the forest. If the forest catches fire, Klaus and Lucas and, ha and Honau will be stuck out there. Yeah. That is not a good thing. The sunshine fire forest is on fire. Or the funshine forest is on tire. You're almost there, man. Keep trying. This hasn't been used for whatever reason. It's a small town. That's such a cool pun. Uh, Jackie Yaddo's in. We won't over pamper you here. Flint, sunshine force is on fire. Should I give you a hand too? Yeah. <laughs> now he's backing out. Let everything be to Flint. <laughs> Come on. bad at hitting things right now. They're saying the sunshine force is on fire. If that's true, we better get our butts out here before the fire engulfs our village, too. You're quite the rhyming person. Thomas, what are you running around acting like a siren for? Honestly, now. <laughs> is that a pun on Thomas the Train? You better not cause too much trouble for Flint. Mr. Flint, you should probably take whatever Thomas says with a grain of salt. That's just the kind of person he is. Yeah, it's too bad. I'm invested in saving the town now. Mapson, 
If you need something from the map loving and map owning, maps in. It must be a map, yes? Please feel free to take one with you. The days before Google Maps. You're worried about lighter shack deep inside sh Sunshine Forest, yes? I've marked that area on your map for you. Your map's been marked. Please hurry and see if he needs help. Oh, whoops, silly me. Forgot to tell you how to check the map, didn't I? To check the map, you need to... How do I put it this? Fill your right index finger with a... Right index finger with a wish or strength? And put it more bluntly, I guess, on something... R button-ish. <laughs> the way they're introducing mechanics is, uh, it's quite funny. I like it. Flint, you, li you took... <laughs> Flint, took you long enough. Go check out the fire quickly. Chop chop. If the fire spreads here to Tasmillion Village, my honor, my state, and I will go up and smoke, literally. So go north. North, I say. <laughs> All these guys have just vested self-interest, and they're like, go do, do, go do my hard lifting, because you're a hero. Why do you deserve that hope? I think it's like, by law, if you don't hire somebody to do this type of thing, it's sort of your responsibility to, like, retain your assets. Careful out there, give my regards to the next frog you meet. Okay. Flint, the Sunshine Forest, which is west of Crossroad and past Prayer Sanctuary, is apparently on fire like crazy. Sorry that sounded so explanation-like. No problem. I got a nut. Flint opened the present. Flint got an edible mushroom. Yeah. Entrance is sealed. I got another nut. What's up, lady? Abby, Mr. Flint, if you lose your way, be sure to check the signpost and message boards. I'm telling you, this out of kindness, out of of my heart, just so you know. Alright, thank you. South, Tasmania Village, West, Sunshine Forest, North, Sunset Cemetery. What's in the cemetery? Flint got a nut. Got some nut bread. Even if I do go, if even if I did go on ahead, I just know I'd be no help at all. What should I do? Come with me if you want to live. Oh man. Oh, there's an actual person doing this. He's tall. Hey, letter. Can you see the fire from there? <laughs> I said. I see. I see. He's not as as non talk. I see. He's as non talkative as ever. Maybe you just can't hear him from down here. No, what are you doing? Quit pushing that. Wheeze gaps. Quit it. Stop. Keep pushing that and it'll be sick. Why do you keep pushing it? <laughs> this game is so self-aware. If, if you keep this up, I'm gonna... Yikes. He, he did it. Just so you know, if something bad happens to me, 
It's all because you kept pressing that stupid thing. <laughs> this, this guy looks like Pokey's brother, Lou. The flames started coming our way, so we ran here with all our might. But old lighter and fuel are stuck in the forest. The names, man. Sparrow advice. Got a minute? If you're ever out of strength or find yourself poisoned, a dip in a hot spring is best for what ails you. But it's important that you stay in the water for a while for it to be, to be effective. And actually, there's a nice hot spring right inside Sunshine Forest too. Now, to end this with a sparrow-like chirp chirp. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that guy looks like me. Almost. This is like the f like third save point I ran into within like literally five minutes. Careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. May the forest and people and animals and I all have happiness. Oh Flint, good to see you here. I think it's only proper or proper to offer a prayer here before we're going into the forest. It's the Dragon Shrine. Please answer with a calm mind. Please tell me your name. Yes, the name of the person playing this game. It's doing it again! I knew it. That's why I didn't use mine for uh, the main character's name. But we can do the same thing. After I count to three, you'll forget you were ever asked this question. This game like incorporates the like a, like hypnosis as a, as a theme. I think that's important to know. Have you forgotten? Absolutely, I already forgot. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Who are you? But, whoa, where's the fire? Is it on fire? Oh, I bet it's a big, giant, foresty fire. This is a big emergency, so I came to help out. But Ed won't let me through. I can be useful too, you know? I'm not just some annoying onlooker. <laughs> Thank heavens you're here, Flint. I think Lighter and Fuel are still stuck inside the forest. Don't worry, I'll hold back these rubbernecks. You just, uh, hurry and find them. Will do. Mike. Cough, cough. Oh, it's you, Flynn. I thought I saw someone as manly as me walking this way. The smoke is terrible, and with my sensitive throat, I can't- I can't- I cannot continue any further. So you can have this cookie instead. Let this slightly unclean and not very tasty cookie be of use. Please, let it be of use. God, my sinus is hurt. Thanks. It's hard to talk this much when you have like a sore throat. So. Yeah. How do I do, like, the note matching? I'm not really sure how that works. The word poisonous snakes. There should be antidotes somewhere around here. I'll try my best. Mr. Batty blocked the way. What does brute force do? Swing.
It's not even as good as melee. Man. Can I get stuff if I run into, into this tree? Yeah. Yeah, no, I can't. Where could Isaac be? Can I bump him? No. Harry's bracelets. That looks good. What could it actually be? A bracelet of the Ares Zodiac sign, plus three defense. Sure. Thomas is just there, he doesn't have any abilities. It's kind of dumb. This is seriously like the fifth save guy I've met. Almost got like a really bad encounter there. A really bat encounter. Oh, Flint, cough, cough. Yeah, I breathed in so too much smoke. Lighter and his sun fuel are still. <laughs> Lighter and his sun fuel still aren't back yet. I'm pretty sure they're stuck inside the forest. Cough, cough. Don't worry about me. Go help them. Those look like some crazy bugs. How did he go through the fire? There's nothing here? Metal box-like object is lying here. Can I go through... oh. Yeah. That gear must make him flame retardant. What? You encountered a yam monster. So all of these are yam monsters, I guess. Damn, I'm getting tired. I'm just gonna pause it for one sec and get a drink of water. I apologize. I'll just be one second. One second. One second. Two seconds.
Onward we go. Ya monster. Ya monster. This game has like... It's kind of following the format of Earthbound. The platform is like... It's kind of... It's like slightly more limited than Super Nintendo, I think. But it was designed like a lot later, so I think... They got a little bit more clever with like how they present things. Isn't there like a ton- there's like a ten year uh, gap between Earthbound and this game. You've never seen a bug like this before. Okay. This must be the guy, either lighter or flu fuel. Hey. Hey lighter, you alright? Flint. Oh, and Thomas. Damn it. I can't make a cough sound. That was like the most pathetic cough sound of all time. I try to beat these things up, but more just keep coming. I can't get past them. Cough, cough. Toxic bugs. What is that thing? A bug? Cough, cough. You know, they're going around the forest lighting fires, but I've never. but never mind that. Feel still at home. What, fuel still in your shack? Flint, you go help fuel. I'll look after lighter. Huh. Can I pick this up? Alright. This is probably better than my stick. If you're gonna use that lumber as a weapon, be sure to equip it first. It's completely useless otherwise. Thank you. Let's see. Stick. Lighter's lumber. Wow, it's like double the strength of the other one. Huh? <laughs> that was like the weakest dash that I've had. Sci-Fi. Looks exactly like Sci-Fi. Am I supposed to time my attacks with the music? Oh wow, this tree's on fire. No problem here, but it's on fire, man. Hop, hop. I really recommend you save now, will you? <laughs> He's hiding in the bucket to prevent himself from getting toasted. Careful out there. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Will do. Help. Oh wow, that kid's trapped in there. He's toast. The hell just happened? Alright. I better heal because I'm like below 50% HP. 5 HP per not Sure. Probably bust it open by ramming into it. Alright, let's do that. Rat! Who the f. Get it! Get him! Get him! Oh my god. Fine. 
Flying mouse suddenly attacked. <laughs> that would be frightening. I don't like mice and I don't like flies. They're both pretty disgusting. That kid is probably, if this were real life, he'd be not as alive as that, I'm just saying. A fallen support beam is blocking away. Can I bust through it? Yeah, okay. Flint. Mr. Flint, you took fuel into your care. Is he actually going to be us more useful than that other guy? I hope he is. Oh no. Get out! And then all of his things are no more. Wouldn't that suck to just lose your house like that? So many memories. So much equity. I'm pitch black and covered in suit, but I'm alive. Oh, you're Pitch Black too, Mr. Flint. Thank you, Mr. Pitch Black Flint. Alrighty, man. You need to let your dad know I'm okay. He's probably worried sick about me somewhere. Oh, God! That fire hurts. Wow, he actually is more useful. He's healing me. Alright, let's get out of here. Somebody's texting me. It's not a girl. Message me. Uh, what the frick? Not too into weapons. Whoa. Somebody just messaged me like this footage of people buying toilet paper. They're just swarming it. There's like businesses in my city that are clo closing down indefinitely. That's not fun. Definitely not a good thing. <laughs> Oh wow. There's no way. If I go to the hot spring, it's probably gonna clean me. It probably will. I'm foreseeing this. Now I'm no longer covered in suit. Relaxing in the hot spring made everyone in Flint's party feel alive again. Uh. 
Okay, just my head is covered in soot. That's it. 50% is still a pass, I think. Is it? Hey, you heck. Don't know who you are, Mr. Pitch Black Guy, but thanks a million for saving fuel. Wow, you're really, really pitch black. Damn. Oh, Fuel Flint, you're pitch black and covered in soot, but you're alright. If you're looking for lighter, Thomas took him to the prayer sanctuary. But wow, you're really pitch black. Mr. Flint and Fuel, you're both pitch black. <laughs> alright. That's... that's enough. Abby... here was... <laughs> Abby here was attacked by some bizarre flying mouse thing with bug wings. It went chomp and bit her on the head. Ouch. That makes sense. If it didn't, I can explain it to you again. It made sense to me. <laughs> that was a very easy <laughs> to understand explanation. Oh man. This game's hilarious. Flint, you're pitch black and covered in soot, but you're but you're all right. Am I all right? Being the responsible man, I managed to bring lighter here. Hurry and let him see fuel. Okay. Where's Lighter, anyways? There he is. Huh? That voice, is that you, Fuel? You're alright. What? What in the world happened to you? You're pitch black and covered in soot. What about you, Dad? You you busted your leg. Oh, this. This ain't nothing. All I gotta do is twist it like so, and then do this, and then ow ow i starting it. Boss, what in the world are you dealing? Fixing my injuries, obviously. What does it look like? Anyways, we sure are lucky Flint showed up when he did. Yeah, he and Lighter have always been quarreling buddies since they were kids. It's enough to make me jealous. Thanks, Flint. I guess I showed my not-so-tough side, huh? I owe you one for today. I think that could be the first time I've ever heard the boss say thank you to anyone. <laughs> You're right. The only thing that could make this any stranger is if it suddenly started pouring rain. And there goes the soot. I think. Will it? And now it's starting to rain. There it goes. Let's just hope the rain puts out the fire. We need to tender to lighter. Let's head back to the village for now. There you are, Flint. You're all patched up now. It's a good thing you and Fuel only suffered light injuries. It's been a while since Tasmili last had rain. Flint, please get some nice rest. Oh. There I go. It's been a while since Tasmili last had rain. This rain, it looks like it won't be letting up for a while. Okay. Flint, did you see anything else in the fire besides those weird bugs? I'm talking about some suspicious people with pig-like masks on. Those bastards! They turned the forest pitch black! 
and you, Flint, you wound up pitch black too. <laughs> you should get some rest now, Dad. Oh yeah, you. You were pitch black too, Fuel. Come on, Dad. You really need to rest now. When are Hanawa and the others coming back? With the force like it is now, that won't the way be won't the way back be dangerous? Absolutely. Helping others out, being helped by others, helping or what? God, the text boxes is like they don't progress like they do in Mother Two. Well, how do you like it, Flint? Isaac said he was going to the mountains to pick mushrooms. I hope he's alright. So, I guess I have to find Isaac. This is some pretty chill music. Maybe I'll just, like, listen to it for a while. I kinda like it. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. You're fully revitalized. I feel better after drinking water too. There's no point going back in there. Who are you? My husband is a, such a wimp. He was a nervous wreck during the fire. I was worried about him more, more about him than the fire. Are you talking about Thomas? Bob, cheers to this rain. For putting out the fire. Gotcha. I think this guy offered to help, and then he just like, he ditched at the last minute. Hey there, Flint. Sorry I wasn't much help earlier. But if something ever happens again, I promise I'll help out. You must be tired. Let's get some rest. You should get some rest. The room on the farthest end is unoccupied. Alright, I already did that. Flint. Perfect timing. I heard you were taking a rest here. Mighty heavy rain, isn't it? I think I'll join you under the under the honor. Go for it. Flint, tell me. Have you seen Hanawa and the kids? Nope. I see. Actually, I was up in the mountains earlier picking mushrooms. While I was up there, I caught sight of Hanawa. Then while I was taking a break by the river, I heard loud roars far off in the distance. It sounded like it might have been a drago that was roaring. After that I heard what I think might have been screams. Say Flint, now when the kids made it back home, right? So they're saying I should go check that. Go home, Flint. Bony. Why can't Bony help me? It's a letter from Hanawa. Dear Flint, just like he said, they would. The children, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. 
Klaus is a dare, as daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled, but neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long, but we should be home by this evening. I'd forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmili Village, so I really wish you ha you could have been here to take in this air. Next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus, Lucas, and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite turkey right away. With love, your dearest Tanawa. Oh, they're still not back. With all this rain, they could catch a cold. I'll go find them. They're probably taking shelter from the rain somewhere. It's getting late, so we should all go look for them. Let's, let's get the other villagers to help too. Okay, I'll go tell my dad then. You're fully revitalized. Woof woof. Please take me with you. I'm sure I'll be healthy. Take Boney with you. Uh, yeah. I hope I get him for more than like five minutes. Like the dog in Earth now. He runs too. That's sick. back here. Oh wow. This is bad, real bad. And now when the kids still aren't back. that? Stray dog. Bow wow. I'm a stray dog. <laughs> okay. I'm going in the right direction at least. I can't go past that way. Um, can 
I go this way? Oh shoot. Bones, clackety clackety. This is Reggie's house. No. Sheriff's office. But he's the sheriff, dude. Hitting all the walls. I'm not good at running yet. Is there anything here at least? No. Edible mushroom. What does that do? I can't equip that. I can probably eat it. Peculiar cheese. Cheese that I that you either love or hate. HP restored varies from person to person. Mushroom that's delicious even raw, 20 HP. So that's random, that's 20. Okay. I kind of like the menu system in this a lot better than Earthbound. It's a lot less complicated and it still manages to have witty humor tied into the items. I just don't exactly know where to go from here. She did say they were coming back today. Where could Klaus and Lucas be? Looks like everyone went to the prayer sanctuary. I really want to help you out, honest. I'm totally just the guy to help you out. Huh? He goes away running. Where exactly do I have to go? Cemetery. No zombies allowed. I'm not a zombie. Damn it. Actually, is that tall guy here? He is, but he's not ringing. God, talk to him. I can't talk to him. What the heck? What have you have got to say? Find yourself poison, dip in hot springs. Same thing that you said last time. Look at that guy's head. <laughs> I asked everyone to split up and search the force for Hanawa. You've been blessed with kind friends. That must be true happiness in one sense. What is this old man doing? I'd like to join the search, but they told me to stay here because I'm old. 
Seems nobody's aware of how strong I am, really am. You kind of look like Mike from Breaking Bad, so I wouldn't doubt that. I actually feel like saving it now. Did I- wait, it didn't save. There you go. Now it's saved. Who are you? Paul. Burr, that's cold rain. He looks like Jeff. He seriously looks like Jeff. I don't like it. It doesn't seem like it's ever going to stop. Linda, can I promise uh, she teach me how to make delicious turkey? Well, it's not too late for that. I guess, if I find her. Oh no. I feel like the, the battles in this are a lot less... Scary. In Earthbound, like, they kind of came out of nowhere, like, in the, the middle of, like, a city or town. And you'd just be like, what the hell is that, a stop sign? Taxi cab's trying to hit me? And this is just like, it's pretty predictable. And it's kind of like linear RPG battles too, like a bat, so far a bat, a mouse, I think those are the, the only two guys that I fought, oh and a yam, I guess the yam is like, by design a little bit, like, less linear, but its placing was pretty linear, because it was in the middle of the dungeon, oh no. Na 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 bat man. Instead of a bat, I have a piece of lumber. Oh no. It's the cooked turnip. Baked ya monster. <laughs> he looks so sinister. Like a jack o' lantern. Kanawa seems to have a good head on her shoulders. Not you, though. Whoa! You're pretty careless, so I bet you forgot to bring antidotes with you into the forest. You're actually wrong. I do have antidotes. With the mighty bitey snakes everywhere, here you can have one of my antidotes. If you don't think that'll be enough, you can always get more from Isaac's house. How kind of you, but also how insulting. I do have an extra hand out here. Here. Wait. I thought I- wait. Did he give it to- yeah, he gave it to the dog. So I did have this hand out here. For real. Oh no. Oh no. Don't worry, Flint. With all these people looking, I'm sure we'll find them soon. Let's have faith and keep searching. I didn't realize it before, because the flames were so intense at that time. But it looks like the area over here got hit really bad by the fire, too. I didn't actually search this area. Oh, no. I kind of like how back attacks are actually... The battles themselves have different models for back attack. You can see the enemy from behind. So like, 
Maybe they have like some hidden back attack thingies that have something funny on the other side of the enemy. A fire, then rain. And then children smiles. It'll all be right. Reggie knows it. You're smart. You encountered Mighty Bitey Snake. It looks kind of like vicious, but also kind of derpy. <laughs> I don't even think people use derpy anymore. It's been a while since I've heard that thrown around. I can actually just like really, actually I can't really easily dodge him if he's gonna come out like that. Oh, he's still not gonna charge. He's just, he looks, he looks at me. He's like the painting whose gaze follows you around the room. Biff, the forest still smells burnt. I smell burning. I guess it was pretty, a pretty big fire and all. Um, yep. Let's hurry and find Hinawa so she can make us some, some of her special turkey. Got the antidote. Alright. Oh my goodness. Do not touch the snake. <gasps> I thought I got a red attack, but I didn't. I'm so lucky. I like how Boney is like not completely useless either. He's good. Whoa. I'm used to that that model being an enemy. Klaus is still a troublemaker, so I bet he's hiding around here somewhere watching us worry our heads off. But Lucas is a crybaby, so I bet he's probably in tears by now. Nice observations. Baked the monster and snake. Bake the snake. Bake the snake robbers. Poisoned. Alright. So I guess it's the first time that I'm gonna have to use a status effect item. Let's do this. Somehow I'm, like, much stronger than than I was not very long ago. I thought I might get a green attack there, but I was bad. I'm sure Klaus and Lucas will come racing here before long to have some of those slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies of mine. <laughs> how are you so aware of how unclean and bad tasting your cookies are? Is that intentional? We've been calling their names for a while, but there has been no response at all. Do you think maybe there's not... they're not in this area? Well. I'm gonna look anyways. Screw you. I got a charm anyways. Hanawa's father lives right past here, but... Flint, what should we do? Actually, it looks like someone went and snapped these in half, not lightning. But that can't be possible. It looks like dinosaur marks. That guy's pants looks like a face. His butt looks like a face. I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this flint. These huge trees were snapped in two.
How could such big trees get ripped down like this? Whatever did this, it wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me. What do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Hinao and the kids might still be stuck out there because of all these knockdown trees blocking the way. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best if we split up into a few groups. Hey. Have you found Hinao and the kids? Lighter. Are you sure you're in good enough shape to be out there? I'm always in good shape. Don't treat me like some uninjured... injured clod. We'll take care of these things. You keep pushing on ahead, Flint. I hope Pinel is in... is alright. Jonal and the others are all gathered at the bottom of the cliff over there. I wonder if something's happened. Very foreboding. I swear to god I've heard this music in WarioWare. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Will do. All the forest critters are acting weird, and I'm suddenly getting really bad vibes here. Oh no, I mean that in a good way. What I mean to say is I'm getting good bad vibes, if that makes sense. I don't think bad vibes are ever good vibes. Good bad vibes. It's just a guess, but I'd say Drago climbed up from here. See those claws marks? Those most certainly belong to a Drago. But why would a Drago pull out stuff like this? Enough to leave gashes in the rock. Man, I'm getting super tired. I've only been streaming an hour, but I'm gonna take a break and I'll probably be back in a couple hours. I'm probably just gonna take a nap so I get refreshed. I apologize. But 